Hello everyone. Southern Illinois Scale partners with Swisska Ag as a sales and service agent, stocking a range of spare parts and having specially trained technicians in the US. This is the first of a video series on the range of Swisska scales for grain and milk product weighing. And joining us today from research and development at Swisska is Andreas Kleiner to talk to us about Swisska and its products. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Ramesha. Thanks for having me here, present something of our company. All right, then uh, I would like to start with uh, some slides. Uh, we as Swisska, we stand for uh, constant high quality. We try to deliver that not just uh, in our products. We also would like to offer an excellent service uh, and try to be a competent partnership in this grain processing environment or industry. We have a large stock uh, to, to keep um, short lead times. And we, at the end, so we try to offer always best price, uh, price performance ratio. That's what we in general as, as Swisska uh, like to achieve to excel uh, our customers' expectations. We're focusing on, on scales. That's where this uh, name Swisska comes from, it's from Swiss scales. Uh, all our scales have in common uh, that they work compressed air-free. Uh, we want to offer highest precision because uh, we think that uh, scales are a millers or an operator's wallet. So you have to know where your product goes, what type or how much uh, of each product quality you produce. It should be simple to operate. Uh, because we have all uh, servo drives, there's no compressed air uh, needed. So that means, that means it's uh, very energy efficient. And our scale control here offers also uh, a wide variety of, of, uh, of interfaces to PLCs or, or to cloud services. They are among the uh, highest reliability is crucial in this industry because you have a large uh, over long up times. They run 24 seven, uh, sometimes seven, 8,000 hours a year. So that means uh, yeah, uh, we need the uh, highest quality products to, to keep or to achieve this highest reliability. We also improved the hygienic design. Uh, all our scales uh, have uh, openings to access the inside for cleaning, for inspection, and uh, only a minimum maintenance is needed. These are these five basic scales we offer uh, from different for different process steps for different products. Today we're focusing on on this grano. That uh, grano stands for a scale that is used for granular products. So uh, this grano can be used as a mass flow meter or mass flow regulator. And it comes in five uh, different sizes. Uh, from 20 or the type 20 means uh, 20 liter of volume inside the weighing hopper. So uh, the way it works is from top, there's a, an inlet gate that fills up this weighing container up to a certain level. And uh, in general, it depends, it's a flow regulator or flow meter then uh, as a flow regulator, you choose a desired flow rate and then this uh, lower gate opens in a way that uh, this flow uh, is maintained. Uh, and so the level in the bin decreases and if it uh, reaches a low level, it will be refilled uh, automatically and it's a continuous scale. So that means it doesn't never stop down here unless you stop the whole scale. But um, refilling takes place while product still flowing out. So uh, the type 20 uh, has a volume of 20 liters in here and goes up to 220 liters. So for wheat, for example, or, or corn or oat or malt, you go up to 80 tons an hour or about 160,000 uh, pounds an hour for wheat. As I already said, there are basically two different uh, operating modes. There's a flow regulator. And when used as a flow regulator, these uh, scales are usually placed below a bin. 
search bin or a silo and there can be one or, or more than one and then usually the uh, the, the wheat or the, the, the grains they are being collected in a transport element such a chain conveyor or a, an auger and that is being delivered to a next process step. So it, this can be used for, for blending different types or different qualities of, of, of wheat or rice or, or corn to get a, a certain mixture or you can use it just to, to feed one single uh, process with a certain amount of grain. The other uh, mode that can be uh, chosen is a, a flow measurement device. So that means you place this uh, flow, uh, this grano somewhere in, in an existing flow. So, and what it does is it measures how much is being processed. So it just measures what's coming from this feeder and it feeds to the next one. So the, uh, if this flow, uh, mass flow is, is fluctuating, so it also measures these uh, ups and downs in, in flow rate. So these are this basically these two uh, modes when used as a flow measurement device. You need uh, an inlet hopper to compensate this uh, mass flow changes a little bit. This uh, grano can be now equipped with some uh, uh, options. Uh, one option is this double cone that can be placed in between the, the weighing hopper and then it's part of the weighing hopper and the inlet gate. Uh, this double cone is used to measure density. Uh, again, this whole, uh, everything between these two, two blue sleeves is, is part of this weighing container and uh, the product is filled up to this level and as soon as it's being uh, emptied, it passes the sensor and then we measure the volume and the, the weight so we can calculate density. This is done every cycle, every time it's been refilled and emptied and which is in general every 5 to 10, 15 seconds, this density has been recalculated. So you can keep track of, of your density variation of your products and what you can use used for, I will tell you just in a minute. Then there's a temperature measurement uh, or moisture measurement uh, probe available down here. So you can continuously monitor the, the moisture of your product. And the last option can be placed after the grano. They can be in, uh, used to increase accuracy the way they, uh, this differential scale work because you refill during uh, running so you don't stop it, makes it a little bit less accurate than a hopper scale where you always measure the whole amount. So this um, unit measures the variation during the refilling and then we can compensate these inaccuracies to make it more accurate. So a combination of the grano with all this option can be used for example in, in flaking application where you have old flakes. If you measure the density here, and the grano can be placed after a transport element or can be directly placed after the cooler or dryer. But uh, with the information of density, you can adjust the flaking uh, mill or you can adjust uh, the, the speed or the heat of the dryer or cooler just to maintain the, the set point values of moisture and densities. That makes it very versatile and can be used in many different applications throughout the grain processing industry. As I said, all our scales use the same scale control, scale control VSCA. Can be, uh, there's a, a seven inch HMI uh, locally uh, at the scale where you can have access to all the parameters. You can uh, monitor it or you can also connect uh, remotely with your mobile device when the scale is hooked to your network. It's basically how it looks like. There's a, a main control which uh, is being responsible for the whole scaling application and then we have two connection or some interfaces. One is a uh, for a, an interface to a PLC and the other one is used for, for visualization purposes as well as connection, uh, connection to the internet and also allows us to, to remote access and, and give uh, assistance to, to operators. Then some uh, 
pictures of how they looks like in a, in reality. Uh, these granules can they, they can be placed on the floor or being installed to the ceiling for proper and clean installation. Here's another one. Uh, you see some pictures of the grano with this density density measurement devices. In this case, they measure pellets from pellet press, and here they measure and control oat uh, flakes in an oatmeal. So the grano is versatile, a very versatile uh, scale, mainly used for free flowing granular products in 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 this industry. So. Thanks for your attendance and thank you, Andreas, for this informative session. I hope that those of you watching now have an idea of what the Swiss Car Granules Care can do for your business. So if you have any questions or inquiries, do reach out to us. See you in the next video.